Yo, what's good, everyone? It's your boy, Mystic Wolf, and you already know what it is. And um, I'm just gonna be doing like a little rant video type shit. Um, just something that just kind of came up out of the fly. Um, I know it's like Fourth of July, so if you're watching this, well, happy Fourth of July. Um, shit, I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like, post grad sucks ass. Um, if you guys don't know, I am a college graduate. I recently graduated from Virginia State University around December of last year, or well, winter of last year. And uh, it's been rough just finding a job in New York. Like, it's really, really bad. Like, um, like you would think after, like, the four to five years I've been, you know, busting my ass to, like, get a degree, you know, seeking higher, higher learning, higher education, you know, moving in and out of dorms, you know, going to storage, spending, like, monthly on storage and shit, on storage units, um, dealing with really weird-ass roommates, uh, with very unreliant professors, poor customer service, filling out FAFSAs and fucking SAPs. Yeah, if y'all know, y'all know. SAPs. Um, all that other shit, you would think all of it would be worth it in the end after graduation, but nope, absolutely not. So, um, I went to school for graphic design, but I had to switch my major to uh, individualized studies for two reasons. One, my teachers, my professors were hating. They didn't really like my art. Uh, they thought that it was just mid. It was just not up to par where it needed to be. Now, mind you, I had a Microsoft Surface, which is really not a great laptop for, you know, Adobe stuff. And honestly, it's like, a really really bad like software to kind of like you know do things in um as far as like using like illustrator um photoshop and design all that it freezes it blue screens it literally like crashes my computer so like technology like you know technological stuff goes i was pretty at a pretty uh bad in, uh, disadvantage but i still use the tools that was handed to me i still went to my um my colleagues for help and, you know, they, they did the best they could, but, you know, obviously they couldn't help me with everything. And still my professors were hating on every single which way that, uh, as possible, like, anywhere possible. To the point where, like, I had to retake classes. Well, I, I they almost had me retake classes in order to try to get my skill level up, which makes no sense because if I passed the class, whatever, that's a whole different discussion. So, and also, too, I also failed a particular class, World Art Survey 1 in particular, which is a history class, which is required for my major uh, in order to move on to my more preliminary um, advanced uh, graphic design classes. Um, I need to like pass a certain amount of classes. If y'all went to college, y'all know, like it does kind of maybe go for every single major. Y'all gotta pass a certain uh, different amount of classes in order to like move on to the other rank of your major. And unfortunately I failed World Art Survey one three times and it was really really bad like i it, it, i don't even want to get into it but the point is i failed it and basically i couldn't retake it again and i had to basically i, I had two options either either to switch my major or to basically pay out of pocket to take the class again and i didn't want to do either of that i was like it's not even fucking worth it these niggas want to get me the fuck out of here um like it was cool like maybe like sophomore year junior year but why right when like you know i want to say 2021 2022 era came around I'm not going to mention a certain professor because I don't want to get uh, sued for defamation. <laughs> but I don't really give a fuck. It's like, I'm not even at school anymore. But I still don't want to take that risk. Um, shit, I, 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 it's just over. You know what I'm saying? And I just had to switch majors. And I had to, like, you know, make a really uh, heartbroken decision. And, you know, it's a major that doesn't really do nothing for me, essentially. But it was either do that major and graduate on top, well, I was supposed to graduate in 2022, but it's either graduate and get the hell out and do whatever I want to do in life or stay in that same school who that has basically marginalized me and has made me feel like complete shit for the past four to five years. Like, so I just took the ladder and I just wanted to go immediately. So maybe just being home, a lot of limitations have been like presented to me. I can't really, you know, go out like how I want to, you know what I'm saying? Like I still live in my parents' house, so I still have to live by their rules. And you would think because I'm 24, I could just do whatever the fuck I want. No, it's like, ah, oh, you well, you gotta, I mean, it's not too bad. Like they still kind of, you know, are chill about a lot of most things, but you know, just certain little things. So just the freedom, like being restricted, the limitation thing is just, that's one, like I hate having to like, you know, be boxed in and be locked in and be back into an area where I feel like, you know, I've kind of grown out of, you know, I, I live in a very small town in New York. I'm not going to say where, but 
you know, like, when, when you kind of, like, you know, get to a certain age, you kind of feel like, all right, this right, I'm kind of, you know... I have a certain discernment. I've had a certain detachment from this from this place because you know it's just a lot of people who I went to high school with and they don't even like me. You know, people that you know I used to be really cool with and I don't really talk to them on a day to day basis. They see me, they they don't say anything. They're kind of weird or awkward about it. You know, what? I keep it moving. So essentially, there's just a lot of people that are also even too when I see them like they seem to be boxed in into like this one form like they don't want to make any progress whatsoever they're not working they're kind of like in this situation where they're always like you know hopping from you know house to house and they're not seeking higher learning like they don't want to do anything for themselves basically they're 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 um basically stationary and they it's, it's just sad it's sad and I don't want to be around that type of energy so that's one like just mentally emotionally it takes a toll in your on your mental health because you know when you're when i was at school at least there was people who were determined to learn and determined to do something in life and there were people who were you know who, who had a certain energy to them when you when you saw them but just here it's like just the same old same old like it, it doesn't stunt my growth it, you know it doesn't make like i'm much more lazier if anything uh to you know be motivated to get th certain things done now um than i was in college so that's no that's one thing just the limitation just you know the, the toxic environment and um, two a job hunting now indeed in linkedin is trash bro i'm not even gonna lie like even when you do the easy linkedin stuff like your resume stands out so i i don't know i have a pretty decent resume like i i made one resume i want to say back in like 2022 but i updated it obviously like with certain things that you know has i have done over the years you know i did an intern i did two interns uh ships when i was in school and then i also did a lot of like you know junior senior counseling not counseling but uh counts uh not counseling. Oh my god, I, I'm I'm messing up on the word. Um, I did uh, yeah, counseling, counseling. Uh, like counsel, like oh, the counselor, not counseling, but counselor, uh, to like young kids and stuff like that. So I put that on my resume, and I did like other little things here and there throughout the years. Like you know, um, uh, I just kind of like apply for like you know, uh, exhibitions, art exhibitions, just to kind of get my name out there, get my art out there and stuff. So I have a pretty well versed like portfolio and resume as far as other things so even with artwork as well too and i try to apply to everywhere like even like you know the retail you know low like you know low effort jobs that you know don't really require a lot of like you know a bachelor degree or even an associate's degree like just even a high school diploma they freaking reject me in every which way like i don't understand gang like i i applied for you know assistant manager i applied for for cashier i applied for damn near every single role that i think i can probably do at that time you know what i'm saying like I don't care. I don't care, bro. And I still get rejected. I do these interviews and, you know, I get my hair did, you know, I get like, you know, my, you know, I get my hair cut and all this stuff. You know, they tell me that, oh, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll hit you back in a couple weeks, see how we feel about you, da, 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 da. You know, they like my answers. They like my presentation. They like how I present and articulate myself. And still they, they come back to me and be like, well, I don't really know if this is a good fit for you. Like, it's so trash that it's just like, bro, like what, what, what more do y'all want? Like I have a pretty pre impressive portfolio. I got us, I got a bachelor's degree a college degree like i don't understand how i can literally get rejected from a place that doesn't like what like they'll be like oh well you're you're and then they'll backhand compliment me they'll be like well your portfolio and your resume is really good but unfortunately you know but i feel like they'll, they'll be like oh you're overqualified like oh it's impressive but like we don't think we're you're a good match and it's like Bro, what the actual hell, gang? It, it, it's, it gets so aggravating and annoying and frustrating at times, man, because, like, applying for jobs is literally a part-time job in itself. Like, literally. Like, it, like I have to see the same questions, fill out the same questionnaires, fill out the, are you African-American? Are you male? Do you have the social security gum? Da -da 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 -da. Have a cover letter? Have a resume? All of those. Like, bro, I don't want to keep doing this, bro. Just hire me. Someone hire me, please. Like, I, I am looking for money. I want to. I want to make money. All right? Like, there, there was, there came a certain point where i was like yo bro I'm, I'm willing to do anything to just get this money bro like i was willing to do some i'm not gonna say that on youtube you know what i'm saying because you know i just got partnered all right listen chill youtube do not sniper me but there was certain points where i was like bro i feel like i might have to do something you know to to really get this money you know what i'm saying because it was getting it was getting to a point around march and april where i was really broke like i was at the 18 like literally the two the double digits on my uh, bank account and having to ask for my aunt and my friends for money is not a good look, my nigga. Like, I feel like, bro, like, I should have a, like, I want to, I want to live, you know, 
Like, I feel like, yo, I'm going to have this car, I'm going to have this apartment, I'm going to go on vacation, you know, I'm going to wear these clothes, I'm going to get these games, I'm going to, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, like everyone's like, yo, do what you need to do so you can do what you want to do in, later in life or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got to, like, like I, I wanted to, like, you know, uh, after college, like, I really wanted to, like, go out and, like, you know, explore, you know, do my own thing. And, yes, I am doing that, but, like, I feel like... I don't know, man, like, it, 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 it sucks that, like, I can't travel, and, like, I can't just do certain things that I want to do, because I lack the funds to do it, like, I have to keep asking and pocket, like, I don't want to keep doing that, like, I'm a, I'm a grown man, and, like, I feel like that's, like, so weak to just not have your shit together at this age, but, like, I don't know, bro, I, I mean, I know a lot of people are kind of, like, at my, in my, you know, my position where they kind of are not getting jobs themselves, but it just kind of makes me feel some type of way where I just, I see people on social media, like with their friends and, you know, like they're, they have the money to go to these trips, travel these places, you know, afford these hotels and afford these nice things that they wear on their bodies and stuff. And, and having the, you know, the luxury to, you know, eat wherever they want to, and, you know, you know, spend money on their families and this, that, and the third and their friends and their loved ones and see their loved ones. And I literally have jack shit. Like I, I literally have enough money to pay for subscriptions, whether it's like Hulu or Apple music, Spotify or whatever, like just like little things that like, you know, I, I would need for my day to day, you know, just to get me through or whatever. Like, that's the type of money that I have to spend, like, even in, in on haircuts. Like, I feel like I can't spend money on myself, barely on myself, which is crazy work. Um, and, and, and just, like, overall, I think, you know, just to put this, you know, uh, nail in the coffin, it's just, like, depression, too. When you spend so much time in school, like, you tend to not know who you are when you're at school. Like, yeah, of course, you, you do hobbies, you go to clubs, you go to organizations, you go to, you know, fraternities, sororities, whatever type of path you choose to go in college, you know, whether you want to, like, you know... Um, I don't know, uh, socialize or, you know, network with people or, you know, just like, you know, whatever you like kind of path you decide to pick. Like, I know that that time is used to spent on that, but you know, it's kind of a hard balance because, you know, you got essays you got to write, you got, you know, okay, cover letters you got to write, you got, you know, um, you know, assignments, you know, on Blackboard and discussion, uh, stuff that you got to do, you know, stuff that you got to do on, um, on uh, the portal, like just a whole bunch of school swamp stuff, and depending on your major, like it's gonna be a lot, and it's gonna take you away. And I feel like I just never really had an identity in college because you have to present yourself as a picture perfect person. You know, of course you want to get this job, and like you know, of course you want to like you know look good for like interviews, and like if people like you know see you or you know scout you, you want to make sure that you're like at your best fit, like as possible. But I I I just feel like you know um, I just didn't have a chance to even know who I was, who Jovan was in college you know what i'm saying and also i miss my friends like i spend most of my time being with my friends and um you know just like you know getting to know them you know having a good con like you know bond with them um whether it's like on an emotional or mental or you know fit spiritual level and you know just kind of like seeing like how they kind of drifted off or like around me whether they don't really mess with me anymore whether they don't talk to me anymore or they kind of just you know want to just kind of have their own separate ways or just kind of go their own separate miles, you know, whether it, maybe it's not even just me, but just like in general, like it, it also hurts as well too. Cause I, I do think about them. I think about the, you know, I look at the videos and the photos that we take and, you know, that kind of strikes, you know, a little bit of a memory. And it's like hurts that I don't know if I'll ever see them again. And, you know, maybe they'll come to New York. Maybe I'll go visit them and they'll visit me. I don't know. But, um, still it, it does suck that we're not in the same area. We're not in the same space anymore. And that's another thing being in the same space with a lot of people, it, it doesn't hit because you have to like really search and like go to these, you know, maybe events that maybe people might put you onto or you might hear like out of word of mouth and you know, you'll potentially make walk out with a friend or maybe not. They won't even hit you up or you try to hit them up multiple times. Like, Hey, like I, I, I do photography, I do graphic design or Hey, like, you know, I, I also, you know, I'm a, uh, um, I, I play video games, I, I watch anime, you know, I, I do music as well too, you know, if, if you don't even want to do business, like, we could just hang out and casual, casually just, you know, get to know each other, they'll freaking, uh, like, ignore you, and, like, black like blackball you, and, like, avoid you in every single which way they can, and it's like, bro, like, it doesn't even feel like I'm making any progress, like, what's the point of making friends, like, what's the point of, like, doing any of it if it just doesn't amount to anything, like, that's how it feels, like, literally, like, spending hours, days, weeks, months, years on perfecting your craft you're like you're really trying to like you know get get yourself out there you know going to therapy journaling you know um sketching uh reading just doing a lot of self-improvement going you know all of this shit and still people kind of still kind of just don't really want to fuck with you because i feel like they, they kind of establish their own like um little friend group 
and they feel like you know oh because I'm a guy they they they, they look for like alternative motives like oh you know like, you 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 look too mm, I, I don't know you know I, I you know what I'm saying like they just look for any and everything to just kind of count you out as a black a creative man uh, because you might have like something that you you know you're trying to like hide under covers and it's like nothing like that like I'm just it's it's hard out here gang like it really is to make friends and to make genuine bonds that's going to last forever that's going to be long term that's going to you know take you to another stratosphere um so yeah that, that's another thing as well too just like you no know, not having a lot of friends and have not having a lot of people around your age uh, and not knowing where these people are going to be in your day-to-day -day life like everyone's gonna you know drift apart and have to make their own new friends and do their own thing and you're just st stuck here back to square one so i i think uh in totality uh what i just want to say is like postgrad really does suck now i'm not saying i haven't had my moments we haven't had moments as well too of victory you know i, I got to 1000 so you know shout out to me for getting partnered and shit like that you know I've, you know growing my locks i've been working out um I've been, you know, working on graphic designs here and there, music, you know, like, I feel like I have a lot more time to, like, you know, kind of focus on myself and, like, to kind of find out what Jovan likes outside of the whole school shit, but even still, like, you know, when I don't have the luxury to kind of, like, see people that I want to see or, you know, spend money on things that I really need, whether it's, like, equipment on, you know, music or video or content creation or just things that i would just need to like you know kind of just better improve my life or just when things kind of break down and like i need the money to replace that and i don't have that type of money and like i, I want to like you know there's something going on in the city and like i want to experience that and i don't have the funds to uh, cover that and i have to ask my like people for my family to help me with that it it, it does become a struggle I'm, I'm not even gonna lie and, and it really does put a damper on, on on everything um because it feels like you're you're kind of like a burden you know so uh, it, it, it sucks i know some people finally got jobs you know it takes a little bit of a long while to find and have jobs that's right for you but it, it, i don't know man this 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 post grad shit sucks it really does suck so if anyone feels the same way that i feel um you know like you know drop it in the comment section below you know let me know what you guys do uh how do you guys you know um you know get out of this drought of like just being you know out of college you know what what steps do you take from trying to you know be out of college because i ain't gonna lie like just it, it, it gets to me you know it gets to me a lot like i really put a lot of time into you know my resume and my portfolio and to really trying to like make it out to be somebody in life and i feel like life just kind of i feel like you can't play by the system anymore like i feel like all of you know i'm not saying college is a, is a scam but like i don't know right right now i'm starting to have second thoughts of feeling like maybe it was but whatever um but all right that's all i gotta say i don't want to you know take this video you know too long if you guys you know enjoyed what i had to say uh you know leave you you know leave shit like you know stuff in the comment section below and you know let's have a discussion let's have a, you know this is something a little bit different i don't really make rants and shit like that but i felt like it was something worth talking about so yeah thanks for listening uh holla at y'all next time with another video yeah peace out